Hey guys, Gal Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to use OBS to live stream. Let's get to it. So, OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, it's a program that you can use to live stream to different platforms such as Twitch, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and many more. So today I'm gonna show you how to get started with OBS. Of course, the first thing you need to do is download OBS. So you can find OBS in uh, obsproject.com and it will give you this um, front page right here where you can just click download OBS Studio. Um, if you are on a Mac, I don't know where, the option is oh mixer you can also stream to mixer <laughs> so you just click obs uh, download obs and it will give you the option right now there we go and you will if you're on windows you click on windows if you're on mac you click on mac if you're on linux you click on linux now there's a whole bundle when you download this uh, program so make sure you install every single thing that is in this bundle because uh, otherwise you're gonna have some missing plugins that you will have to install later it's not a huge problem but i get people coming to me and telling me oh this thing i don't have this option was well, because you didn't install it properly so make sure you install everything okay once you have obs installed it's gonna look a little bit like that you're gonna have this program with the huge black screen and uh and yeah it's very minimalistic i really love this program it's, it's, it's in my opinion it's the best program for live streaming okay mm -hmm. um bottom left you will see something called scenes that that is a list of your scenes i will explain what that is to you and then sources and then mixer okay so scenes are <laughs> scenes <laughs> basically if you have um different screens or i don't know how i could call it if you have different segments you would have them in different scenes that means if you have an intermission screen like starting soon which you will show or an intro it at the beginning of your live stream you would have one specific scene called intro and then your main scene uh, if you're doing art it would be your screen capture with your program and then you would have like little elements basically it's a whatever regroups a bunch of elements you can have that in one scene i hope that was clear but usually people have scenes like starting soon be right back main scene and then uh end of the stream or something like that or if you have um let's say instead of a be right back screen you have an intermission screen where you want your just like your camera to go full screen so you can talk to your audience or well, you would have one scene called uh full screen for example like camera full screen or or uh, interlude or intermission <laughs> now inside your scene is where you will add your sources your sources are basically everything that will show inside this scene so you have um, you can right click here in the the source panel and you will have all of those different options i need to let me let me go full screen just to make sure we can see everything okay so you right click you go to add and you will have audio input capture if you have something that just only gives you audio audio output capture um browser source browser source is basically anything that you that is on the internet that you can take information from that can show or, 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 or that can display something or, or play some sounds or music we will go on that later you basically if you're just starting you probably don't know what that is uh, color source I'm I'm not even sure what color source is display capture this is what will show your whole display if I click on it it will um, and click OK you can name them right here it will actually show and do this weird effect let me cancel and delete that delete that okay what else do we have game capture so if you have a game um it will recognize it out as a program you can name it and then choose the specific game so let's go here you can call this overwatch for example or PUBG or whatever your kids are into these days capture full screen application of course you have those um options but um where it is well capture specific window and then here you would find your video game i don't have any games open up right now so i don't have any options for that let's delete this yes okay and uh what else do we have image of course you can import an image resize it and everything uh image slideshow you can select a folder and then uh, a, sp a specific transition i think and it will just show all the pictures inside that folder 
it's pretty cool media source is video so um everything dot mov dot mp4 uh dot dot um what it was it called windows video windows media video wmv <laughs> Any video files, pretty well, not any video files, but most of the video files that you have a scene, you can actually import a whole scene that as that has a lot of sources in them inside another source. So it's kind of a, a sceneception right there. Text, of course, this is where you would type um, stuff like uh, going, no, actually, um, starting soon, for example. Let's say if um, this scene is my starting soon scene, go like this and I can show it. This is a very bad examples, but I'm trying to get through this uh, quickly. Let's remove this. To add a video capture device if you have a camera, for example, uh, if you have an Elgato, a, a capture card. Um, this is what you would click to actually choose it. Do I have this? Is my Elgato even on? Okay, I have Sparkle Cam, which is a program that transforms your DSLR into a webcam. Um, I have this Elgato thing, probably not gonna show anything. Yeah, I was right. I, I don't have anything actually plugged in, so it's not gonna work, but this is where you would go to find uh, your, your capture card. Okay, and then the last options, window capture. So if you want to capture a specific window, that means, um, even if it's minimized, it will still um, show it. That means, uh, let's see, what, what can we have? Say I have my, my computer here and I want to capture that. This is where I would go, uh, window capture, let's not name it. Here and go, uh, this PC, yes. So as you can see, I'm not interacting uh, with this PC right now, it's actually minimized. but it's still showing up right here, okay? Delete that. And then deprecated text free to type two. I have no idea what that is. All right, um, so let's say that we were trying to create a scene. I, I know I haven't told you how to actually link OBS to your platform yet, but I want you to, to get a grasp of um, how you can create a scene. Let's say I, this is my starting soon screen. Let me rename it. Okay, so this is the intro to my live stream. Every time I'm going live, the first thing that's gonna pop up is that exact thing. Uh, I'm gonna have this as a background image. I'm just gonna create one scene so you guys have a, a good idea of what's happening. Let's say I have this as a background image for some reason. Okay, um, a little a little basic thing to know is how to resize. If you click and drag any corner, it's going to maintain the proportions, okay? So whatever you drag, it's gonna scale and maintain the proportion. If you want to um, not maintain the proportions, you have to hold um, control uh, not control shift hold shift and that will allow you to actually drag out and not maintain the proportion okay now if you want to um crop it because you want to place it somewhere specific you can hold alt and now you can click and drag and you can see the green like the border is going to be green to show you that it's being cropped from this side you can just drag it out and you're good so just a quick tip working with OBS. I'm just gonna over scale it to make it um, this big. Now I want to add something that says starting soon. I'm gonna go text GDI, it's starting soon. Yeah, let's not call it SS. <laughs> and here I'm gonna type. So that, that's just the name of the source, by the way. When you, you just click on it, it's gonna ask you the name of the source. Starting soon. Click OK. Actually, since this is a text, you see here you can go select font and you can play around with the size. Let's make this bigger. Click and drag. 
have a good quality. Let's just here. So this is my first scene. Now, if I want to create another scene, I can just cl right click, add, and this is going to be my uh, be right back screen. Let's call it BRB. And now I can um, do the same thing. It's just examples. <laughs> you have to do the exact, uh, the exact same thing, but. Okay, this is like an Overwatch food box picture. And um, the text. gonna be BRB. Make sure it's gonna be BRB. Go select font. Make it larger. This is like a longer tutorial than what I intended. And here you go. And now you can move from scene to scene. This is my starting soon screen. And if I had a main scene, let's create a main scene. <laughs> let's call this main scene. Let's say that you're um your live stream are all about capturing what's on your screen. So I would go to, um, what is it? Display capture. Okay. Of course, it's going to look like this because it's capturing this particular window right now. But uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, this would be, I don't know, if you want to have a text that says your name. And your game, your name is Super Geek or something like that. You can have your name over there, Super Geek. And you can do whatever you want. If you, um, if you're streaming, you can go uh, like. If you do art, you can open up Photoshop and start drawing. Anyway, so this is the basic on how to um, create scenes and add elements to them. Um, as I said, you can add a whole scene inside of a source. So if I go there and click scene, it's going to give me the option to add everything that already exists, like starting soon here, actually add the starting soon. But now I only have it as a source. So if I change anything in this scene, let's shut off the background. See, it's going to affect when I brought this scene. So everything is kind of linked. OK, so let, let's let's not spend too much time on this part. So this is the basic stuff about how you can add uh, different scenes and different sources and how they work. If you add anything that plays sound, then your mixer here will actually show up. And if you um, configure your microphone, it will actually show up here. Usually people have let me unhide. Yeah, I don't have anything. Um, let's go to um, options. Okay, so we're gonna go here on the right side, bottom right, click settings. And this is where you're supposed to set up everything. Of course, general, you can choose the theme, um, lots of options, but this isn't really interesting. The most interesting thing is stream, this little stream tab. So, of course, what you want to do is stream. So, you're gonna pick stream services streaming services and here you will choose a platform so youtube gaming uh smash cat i don't even know what that is mixer daily motion facebook live restream twitter so you can even stream this periscope i didn't even know that anyways so let's say we're gonna stream on twitch so we're gonna pick our server and here you need to choose the server that is the closest to you i'm in paris so i'm gonna choose eu paris this is perfect and this is where you add your stream key um, if you don't know where to find your stream key, you really need to look that up. I, I can't show you because I'm, I'm, I'm talking about every single platform, um, but somewhere in your dashboard, either in uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, or even Twitch, they will give you a stream key. And this is how this is all linked. Basically, as soon as you enter your stream key here, and then you click start streaming the bottom, right? It will actually stream to your account from your account. Okay. Let's go output. Um, so here you have a, the first tab, you can go simple. I'd go simple if I were you, um, and you can choose your bit rate. This is something that is very particular to your own, uh, internet connection and your, uh, CPU and GPU. So your computer. Um, so this is why I'm not going to go in depth. I have a very good computer, but a very bad internet connection. So everything is going to look super, super low. Usually people stream at 2k or three, four, five K. I have to stream at 800 because my internet is so bad. 
uh, bit rate, your audio bit rate. Uh, of course, if it's 320, it's pretty good, but I'd go with something like uh, 160 is actually pretty fine. It sounds, it sounds good. And then here you have the recording because you can also record um, with OBS. You can even record while live streaming. And then here you can have like the recording path. So where the file is going to go. Recording quality, same as stream. Or you can have it high quality, medium files. It's, it gives you basic compression um, and then recording format. As I said, you should look up some settings on Google for your specific setup. If you have really good internet but a bad computer, or if you have a good computer, bad internet, or if you have good internet and good computer, good for you. Look it up. I cannot um, show you because it's something very, very um, personalized, very, very uh, custom. And here you have audio, uh, the simple rate, video. Here you choose your resolution if you want to stream at 1080p or if you want to stream. I stream at uh, 6 um 648p <laughs> if that's a thing because as i said my internet is very bad and here you have the hotkeys so the hotkeys also work by scene you have like the basic general thing start streaming stop streaming if you click here and you you set a button let me set this to plus for example and i'm gonna clear it because i don't want that to stay you can you have the basics here and then you have scene by scene you can activate or deactivate um each individual source that you add which is pretty cool. And then advanced, I'm not even gonna go through this. Technically, if you enter your stream key and you're um, uh, here in the stream um, panel and then you go to output and then you go to video and audio, you're pretty much ready to stream. Just make sure that you have the right settings for your setup. And then you can go here to click start streaming. It will not give you a countdown or anything. As soon as you press that button, you are streaming or you can click start recording. Okay, the last thing we're gonna talk about is the studio mode. So once you click on it, it's gonna split your screen like that. And what you have on the right is what your audience is seeing right now. So if I turn off the display capture, my audience can st still see my display and they can still see everything. But this is the modifications that I'm um, doing. Like I can edit my sources and my scenes without my audience seeing it. So that means if there's a little, there's something um, that you want to add or remove from your scene, you can basically do that without, without your audience watching you manually turn off stuff. And so it's it's pretty cool. And then once you're done, you can just click on studio mode again, and then boom, it will go back, and all the modifications are applied. So that's it, guys. This is all the basics everything you need to know to, to stream with OBS Studio. Um, there was an old version of OBS that is now called OBS Classic. Don't use this version. <laughs> it's very different. It's like super different, but it's pretty different in a way that so much more has like improved with time with OBS Studio and they've made it to be a more stable program. Um, so do yourself a favor, uninstall OBS Classic, install OBS Studio. If you were waiting to do the transition, do it now, please just do it. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys have any other questions, keep in mind that I have a bunch of other videos on how to actually add um, overlays, how to add your camera. Um, I have um, something called the BitBoss that you can add. I do have a lot of videos on how to do stuff with OBS, so I advise you to go check them out. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will see you guys next time. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time. I think I said I will see you next time at least three times. I will see you next time. Get level out. If you need some overlays for cheap or for free, uh, go to gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of them there. I'm talking about like full overlay packs with starting soon, uh, be right back, ending screen, avatars, bio panels, banners, and all of that like for 99 cents, okay? And some of them are f actually free. So go, go there and download them. I'm getting tired, chat. Thank you so much for watching. Gaia Level, out.